an updated foundation routine. I know I did one probably about a year ago, but it has changed quite a bit. Um, and so I wanted to go ahead and update that. That way, in case if I didn't always do my foundation in a video, you could go back and look at this one and kind of see what um, I would normally do on a day-to-day -day basis. And also just kind of show, you know, how I would do it for summer and things like that. Um, but I do use a foundation differently than I did in that video. Um, the foundation I use now is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. And this one is definitely my favorite um, at this moment in time. I haven't found anything else that I like better. I am always looking for new foundations. So if you have anything that you like better than this one, um, comment in the down below and let me know and I will definitely have to try it out but so far this is my favorite it's very lightweight it doesn't cake up in any of my dry areas and it's just very light feeling on the skin very natural feeling and I don't have any issues with it throughout the day or with it lasting or anything like that so I really like this foundation uh, but that's what I'm going to be using today so let's get started so first off, we're going to start out with some concealer, and I'm going to be using the MAC Select Cover-Up Concealer, and this is in the shade NC20, and I'm going to be applying this under my eyes. Um, I would normally cover up any areas that would need extra concealing, any blemishes or anything like that, but today I don't really have any. Um, I normally don't unless something just pops up every once in a while, but... We're just going to apply this today under the eye in a triangular shape to help kind of cover up um, any area that might have those little bags under those eyes. I get them really bad, especially in the summer because of my allergies. And I could compare this concealer to the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, except it's not as tacky, which is something that I dislike about the um, Bye Bye con under eye concealer just because I feel like it really settles in my fine lines and this concealer does not. I'm also going to use this concealer kind of today as a highlight since I applied so much of it and I need to spread it out a little bit on my face. Then going in with our foundation, I'm going to apply this with my beauty blender but I'm going to go in and actually blend it with my Artiste brush. This brush is my favorite way to apply foundation. It is so simple, quick, and easy. And if you're in a hurry, it takes barely any time at all. CMA no color powder and apply this under my eyes and anywhere I apply that concealer. favorite bronzer and that is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm going in with this brush this is actually a um, blush blush brush blush brush by Crown it's their chisel brush but I really like using it the shape of it works really well for bronzer um, so I've been using it for that lately <laughs>
blush today. I'm going in to my Smashbox palette and we are going to be using Plum, which is this shade right here at the top. going back into that Smashbox palette and I'm going to be applying the shade Shimmer, which is this shade right here. These are really pretty highlights. This is the first time I've used one out of this palette. complete um, foundation routine so I hope you guys enjoyed this updated video if you would like to see more uh, makeup tutorials and things like that please check back every Tuesday and Thursday and please hit that subscribe button that way you'll get a notification and also if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like button and I will see you next time bye bye